go hand in hand. What? I, listen. I'm just saying they go hand in hand. I ain't finna argue with you, bro. I ain't arguing with you. I'm just saying they go hand in hand. I just don't want you to think I'm always going to debate with you. I'm just saying. You know what I'm like gonna say? But the scar is photo, photo. Yeah. Know what? I'm just gonna tell him. No, that's 40 photo zero. No. <laughs> That's why we can't get back to who we are because we don't understand. You don't understand. See, it matters because what the Bible do is line you up with the law to give you the right understanding of law. Because without the right understanding of the law, you ain't never going to line up to the law. Because if you're out of law any type of way, you toast. Now, okay, go ahead. prime is out. More side simple of America, right? Is the... M S T A. What is the M S T A? More science 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 science. Yeah, what is it? Uh civics organization. No, it ain't. it's not an organization. Oh well. Uh, it's a nation. It, no, it's a religious it's corporation. It's a religious corporation shrouded. So this is a religious corporation. Anybody that study uh, business law, then you know that a corporation cannot act outside the powers of its charter, what it's set up for. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is set up for to propagate the faith of Ali in America. That's what it's set up for. Oh, okay. It's a mission. Okay. So, most Moors, of course, they out of law. Why? Because they dump all the weight over here on the religious side. The religious side deal with what? Spirit. Spirit. It deal with your moral teachings and values. That's why Noble Juali say what? Out of Sunday school come the guidance of what? The nation. Out of it. He didn't say in there. Out of it. You got to come up out of there. Okay? So to balance your scale, you need your state. So your scale can be balanced. Because this right here is private. And ain't nobody business. What you call your God, how many times you pray a day, what y'all, all that's private. That's your business, player. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when you come up out that temple and come out here in the public, where your state at? Mm -hmm. This why you toast. This why they killing us. This why they. This why Moors ain't standing on nothing. They don't get it yet. Some don't get it. Okay. So, how you know what I'm saying is true? So state deal with what? Flesh. And Jesus said what? He said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So if Jesus is telling you the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak, you got to have the state to do what? Deal with flesh. Deal with flesh. Yeah. Period. So now how else do you know what I'm telling you is true? <laughs> Go to the book. Go to the book. Listen closely. Watch. Watch how I line this right off of you. Common sense, not nonsense. Watch this. Real simple. Okay, listen closely. It seemed good to Darius to appoint 120 satraps over the kingdom, that they should be in charge of the whole kingdom, and over them three commissioners, of whom 
Daniel was one, that these satraps might be accountable to them, and that the king might not suffer loss. Then this Daniel began distinguishing himself among the commissioners and satraps because he possessed an extraordinary spirit. And the king planned to appoint him over the entire kingdom. Then the commissioners and satraps began trying to find a ground of accusation against Daniel in regard to government affairs. Did you hear that? Government affairs. Government affairs. Okay? <laughs> but, <laughs> but they could find no ground of accusation or evidence of corruption in as much as he was faithful. And no negligence or corruption was to be found in him. Then these men said, We shall not find any ground of accusation against this Daniel unless we find it against him with regard to the law of his God. See? You hear it, right? So you got to line up on both sides. They say they couldn't find no fault in them over here on the state side. So what they do? Spin right around and say, if we can get them on that side, we got it. Because over here, he's straight. He's righteous. He ain't taking no bribes. He ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Over here. So then what they do? They went to the king and told the king to pass a law. Saying what? Because they know Daniel did what? Pray what? Mm -hmm. How many times he prayed? Uh, several. That? Three yeah. times a day. Three times a day? Okay. Who prayed three times a day? Who prayed? Who prays three times a day? Yeah. Who prays three times a day? Well, to right. Muslims. So right here in the Bible, it's showing you this man a Muslim. But see, we ain't putting that together because we... You know, everybody all on what they believe in right. this Christianity, but the man of Muslim, he prayed three times a day. He faced the East when he prayed. Who? They're telling you this. Daniel. Daniel. Okay. Yeah, prays three times a day. Okay. Morning, noon, and evening prayer. This is what he do. Get the king to pass the law saying he can't do that so they can try to catch him up. Okay. Because they know he going to... Bow down. They trying to get him to do what? Not follow the law of what? His God. God. Uh -huh. If he follow man law, the law of the state over right. God, we can get him. Mm -hmm. Why? Because church and state is separate. He ain't got no business letting the state tell him that he can't pray three times a day. Feel me? Mm -hmm. When you really understand it. When they come, being sheiks and grand sheiks, they're supposed to stand their ground firmly on the religion because church and state is separate the state can't no ordinances no statutes no nothing apply to the church none of it they can't enforce nothing on you nothing on the church on the church side mm -hmm. none of that stuff apply but you got grand sheets and stuff that don't really understand this so what they do? They're straddling the fence. They're going from this side to that side, trying to say that this side is the state, and it ain't. And this is why Moors is getting their heads knocked off. Mm -hmm. Getting yes. patches knocked out their heads. Yes. <laughs> yes. These two things are separate and must stay separate. Must stay separate. Mm -hmm. So, most Moors, Moorish conscious, still 14th Amendment citizens. And you know what, bro? I, that has got to be the truest shit ever because, man, I'm on a page with like 30, 40 more, man, and the last three months, like 30, like at least 20 of them back in the United States. Because like, they not lined up with the law. Right, they, they just don't. They, they more think this what they think. I'm sure. Oh, man, that's the European laws. Blah, 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 blah. I say, yeah, them the European laws. First of all, all law comes from God. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Okay? How can it be the European laws, but then you turn around and say, we went to Europe in 711 AD. And when we went to Europe, the king and queen of England was living in a barn. And we built 800 schools over there. Gave them running water. 
built raised sidewalks and pushed streetlights in Europe, mm -hmm. right? So we taught the European people everything we knew, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? Stayed from 711 all the way to 1492. But then you say this they lost. How's it theirs? Everything they know they learn from you. Hmm. So how can it be they lost? See, it's nonsense, man. Mm -hmm. I keep telling you. Uh, you gotta think with common sense, man, not nonsense. This 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 thing is real simple. Yeah. Some people going too deep. Like they get into the etymology and all that. Man, that etymology don't mean nothing to me about what no words mean. Because in your own society, you say what the words mean. And you understand that you and God is one, then you know you are a creator. And if you say a dog is a cat in your society and a cat is a dog, then that's what, what they are. Period. Yeah. So, people got to get the right understanding. That's all I'm saying. So now, us, what we supposed to be doing is what? Awakening the people. Mm -hmm. Not just ours, European people too. Because they in danger. We're in, we in the final stages. They in danger. A lot of our people are in danger. Because they don't have the right understanding. So, I'm going to show you. All across America, they got FEMA concentration camps. It's something that people is failing to realize. See, you got a lot of European people here in this country, and guess what they think? They think this is their country. You can't tell them it ain't. Why do you think that? Because they've been lied to too, just like you've been lied to. Mm -hmm. They've been taught a certain way too in school. Mm -hmm. So this is why Jesus sent what? The spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. To do what? Aid and assist. Right. Start teaching these people the truth so they know. Let them go do their research. They listening to you. Guess why? They believe in Jesus. And they believe in the teachings of Jesus. Right. Okay? So they trying their best to follow what he say. Some. Right? Mm -hmm. So you got good and you got bad. I said it in every race. Yeah. yeah okay? Yeah, I agree. So you got to allow the good ones to find their way. But they can't find their way if you ain't shining that light for them. You gotta shine that light so they can see it. Okay. So they can start understanding. And you got a lot of them that's getting it. They understand it. Man, they been lying. They been lying, man. They lied to us all. So when you start doing that, guess what? They not gonna get no guns and stuff and go out here and try to fight with the United States and get themselves killed, because that's what's gonna happen. Right. Talking about this our land. Talking right. about we sovereign. Our fathers took this land and right. they not understanding your fathers didn't take this land. They had a treaty. Right. They had a treaty. Two of them. Yeah. Come in for a second. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. This is good. Bro. Yeah. Bro, I like that. I ain't just, I don't just blow people off. You know what I'm saying? Andre, I tell you, I tell you it's some truth in some, in some of everything if you're really looking. You know what I'm saying? And like he said, uh, how the Moors missing? It's a, it's a lot of preachers and uh, ministers and stuff, pastors stuff missing it too. Cause I was telling them about the uh, the uh, how the church is not supposed to be on the five hundred one c three. Five hundred one c three. And I said that causes the government to govern church business. Church, e e yes, but see the the problem with that though, brother, and I'm telling you is. These, especially these black pastors, because I'll be on their ass. They know that stuff, man. They know it, and they do it anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? And when you, if you misleading your congregation with that right there, you misleading them with other shit too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, dog, running my own business now, it just opened my eyes up to so much BS that it, it's crazy right now. And one of my things is how we don't have no real leaders anymore, like none. I think yeah. probably with Malcolm and, and, and King, who was really, really dedicated to their craft and what they was on, it was over after that right there. Right. Like how these pastors is and these preachers and these sheiks, you know, right. there just be so many different lies, you know, like 
you, these motherfuckers, you, you got people, man, that'll follow they, they pastor to the, the ends of the earth. Yeah. To the end. Like, you, man, my, my, one of my kids' mama is been a year now. Um, T, um, CC had me in here, he had me in here for a while, and it was every morning. He, I was so mad, he was waking me up out of my motherfucking sleep. And I'm, a, I'm but, but I was running a record label all of years. I'm used to sleeping to one twelve in the afternoon because we up four five in the morning. And so he he waking me up and he he steady he in my ear and it's, it's this is this is this. And my baby mama who live in Minnesota, she is a when I say is a devout or devout? Which one did they say? She's a devout Christian, devout Christian. Devout. 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 She's a devout Christian. Everything he was telling me, I'm shooting to her, I'm shooting to her, I'm shooting to her, I'm shooting to her, I'm shooting to her. You know what the biggest post in her house is right now? No Kuali. To join the, the Science Temple down in, in Minnesota, you can't tell her shit. She, and she is angry. Like she, like these motherfucking Christians, they been like, she said she thought she was in the cult. The pastor had her cooking for the congregation with her money. Hug stamps, had, <laughs> had, had the people coming over, spending nights in her crib, her kids on the couch, he even rented her shit out. You know, just doing all type of stuff. And you know, it just, it, it's a whole lot of exposure. And when I say that, I don't mean just Christians, it's these sheiks too. They just be on so much BS, you just be like, really? Really? But people just, they mindset just be gone. You see my Facebook, I be laughing. Bro, where you been? Oh, I, I, I just did four months, man. Them people did this, they did that. And I be looking at some of the stuff. Well, you wasn't supposed to do no dumb ass shit like that. Look, man, man, Marcus Garvey said, and, and, and no Jualee said, and I, I, all right, bro. Good luck, man. Good luck with all what y'all trying to do. I just had a uh, semi blew out at my, at my church, man. <laughs> <laughs> When I say, man, the minister staff was upset with me, it really was my pastor. But it was about tithes. I was like, they ain't supposed to pay no tithes. You can't tell the people that. I said, no, nah, is you supposed to tell them a lie or are you supposed to leave them sleep? No, nah, you don't withhold the truth either. I said, Those are, that's, for, that's the promise through the Israelites. I said, they're not supposed to pay that. It took her daughter to go research it and came back. Oh, Reverend Taylor was right. I just, I just turned and walked away. They fought me too for nail, man. But she I turned and walked away. But Listen, man, she knew that, that though. though. She knew that, but though. But see, <clears throat> let me ask you, when you what, what is the church? Listen, the church is supposed to be the people. That's who the church really is supposed to be. But we... They got us taught that it's the building. It's not the building. It's you. Okay, right. We know this. But what is the church? The building. What is that? It's just a mean ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Elaborate. Wow. A church is a business. Oh, yeah. It's that's well. In the law. It's well. Yeah, that's it's well. It's a business. Okay. It's yeah, a right. corporation. That's well. It's a business. It's, yeah. It's and they run in their business. That's why dude riding on three hundred million dollar jet. But the, the community is still messed up. All of them, they living good, but the community still suffering. You right, but hey okay. Man. So now we know what the church. Is doing. I'm gonna tell you what what I'm doing. What's going on? What it's time to do? Okay. And that's to have your own state again, which okay. we got. Because we don't line back up with God. So now, by us lining back up with God, we got our covenant, which is our constitution for our state. Now we can once again take our place in the affairs of men, like Nova Jew Ali say. We go to the temple on Friday and Sunday, and the rest of the week, guess what? We demonstrate. We're in the affairs of men. We're at the UN. We're interacting with the organization of American States. We're out in the public. We demonstrate. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, that's why I tell you, you know, I talk to a Hebrew is like brother, and me and him talk. I surrender immediately. Okay, I'm a Hebrew is like, now what we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I hear what you come I talk to an Egyptology guy, surrender immediately. Okay, I'm an Egyptian. Now what we gonna do? Yeah. What we going from here? Yeah, now what we gonna do? 
I ain't got no answers, Joe. Okay. It, I don't even get into that. Because okay. it's nonsense. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All I'm talking about what they doing. Yeah, I see the perspective. What they gonna do? No progress. Get me off the flat. Come on. They ain't do nothing. I'm flat man. I'm from Bring Chicago. Back from the flat man. Hey, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> West Side flat Chicago. Man, man. Guess what? <laughs> We're about doing something. Okay. So really? I'm from. The, that's why they call it the going. Really? That's why they call it the going. Cause we go. We ain't gonna talk. We gonna go. So guess what? Time to go. <laughs> time to go. Pack your bags. We got our own state. Time to go. So now, so I know, right? Right? I know, right? Break it down. It, it just made me think about. Oh my God, man! Sixty-four o'clock in the morning. Sixty artists. We okay. Arguing all night long. Now I'm gonna ask her some questions. Marcy? Yeah. She is quoting all the stuff you said in my ear while you saying it. I'm like, wait a minute, you ain't told. Don't ask me no questions. No, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Don't they're, gonna ask be, me no they're gonna be light ones. They're gonna be light ones. Just to see. No, Just to see. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Trust me. Trust me. Relax. Ain't gonna be nothing hard. Bring me off the table. Ain't gonna be nothing hard. It ain't gonna be nothing hard. Okay. What state you stay in? Illinois. <laughs> Illinois? Yes. Okay. You are Illinois state city? From no. No, I just got here from California. Did you? So you born and raised in California? Yes. Okay. When you was in California? Florida. Yeah. When you was in California? Mm hmm Was you a California citizen? I was a U.S. citizen. <laughs> U.S. citizen. The little city. You're right. I know. You're right. <laughs> and did you, did you, you took an oath to be a U.S. citizen? Did I? Yes. My parents made me. Did when you I take was younger. it? Yeah, you, you took the test and all that and took oath. Okay, yeah, you're a U.S. citizen. With a small C. Yes. <laughs> and that is the small C. Okay. You. I don't know shit, man. Don't start asking me none of the crazy ass questions. Man. I'll answer for him. What are you going to ask him? I'm on, I'm on his side. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to ask him. I'm just being open. I don't even know what to make it. First thing we got to do, finding a list. First thing we got to do to make progress is just tell the truth. What you think. Come on, bro. Don't try to give me what you think I want you to say. Give me what you know. Tell what they told me. you. You know who Give me what they told you. Come on, man. What state you part of? What state I'm part of? I was born in Illinois. I don't know what state. So I'm are you in Illinois state? Sir? I have no idea. I have no idea. So you don't know what kind of citizen you are? No. Okay, so you lost. Okay, you one of the ones Jesus was looking for. You part of the lost tribe. <laughs> you lost. <laughs> what? What? What state you part of? My poor baby. <laughs> Illinois, brother. Illinois. Are you an Illinois state citizen? Uh, far as I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna see. I'm gonna show you if you is or if you not. Real simple. Mm -hmm. Did you take an oath to uphold the Illinois state constitution? Don't not you like do that in eighth grade though? No. Nah. If you, you don't? <laughs> no. No, all I remember was the Pledge of Allegiance. That's it. Okay. Never took the oath. Did you take the oath to uphold the Illinois State Constitution? You never had. Okay. So that one never introduced to me. Okay. So then you're not an Illinois State citizen. It's real simple. Okay. Now, in order to be a state citizen, you gotta take the oath. You gotta take an oath for allegiance. No. This is a must. This is a must. Cause guess what? Yeah, that's why I was like, okay, let's do it. What this say right here? Customarily involving allegiance by the citizen and protection by the state. How the state gonna protect you then? You ain't got no allegiance to us. The state is your people now. Don't get it twisted. If you ain't got no allegiance to us, why should we have it to you? I don't have it to you anyway, see. Sorry. You said what? <laughs> you take all the oaths you want, they gonna have no allegiance to you anyway. That's that's because you talking about some African Americans. I ain't talking about African Americans. I'm talking about nationals. Okay. See, we, we recognize you as being our countrymen. Okay. See, we're gonna have some allegiance. Uh-huh. You know why? See, 
See this right here? Yeah. Okay. This is our national headdress, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So guess what? Uh -huh. When I see you with this on, I know you one of my, my brothers. I know you part of the same state I'm part of. You a Moorish national, I'm a Moorish national. Unfortunately, right now, got a lot of people walking around with this on that's still African Americans though. That's just Moorish conscious. Because they ain't took no oath to no state. So therefore, they still doing what? Don't show you no real allegiance. Because okay. y'all ain't in it together to win it. Okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah. When you become a national, that means we in it together as right. a nation mm -hmm. to win it. Ain't no separation between us. Ain't no taking nobody else's side over your side. It's us to the world, blow up. Period. Okay. Feel? Yeah, I got you. Okay, so we're going to get out here and get everything we can get for us as a nation of people. We ain't on no individuality. We nationals. Okay. That means we what? Bam. Nation. Okay. Okay. So. One nation under the grill. Now. What state you part of? I don't have a state because I never took an oath to one. You did? So I'm a stateless. No, I take that back. I take that back. Illinois Republic. Illinois Republic? Yeah. Okay. I mean, Providence, Illinois. Okay. Let's get our understanding. Remember, I taught y'all this. They don't teach this at school. See that? This is Illinois State. Illinois state is not republic. It is dirt and grass. That's what it is. Dirt and grass. Cannot be a republic, cannot be a democracy, cannot be nothing but dirt and grass. Okay? Inside of it, you have another state. And this state is called the state of Illinois. And it's all caps. Now, the state of Illinois is a republic. Okay? Why is it a republic? Because it is a government. Okay? <clears throat> It's not dirt and grass, it's a corporation. It's a corp. Okay? You with me? What's the other state you got? You got another state inside of here too. Illinois State. That go Illinois State at the top. Oh no. You got this. If you catch a federal case, you did it in the District of Illinois. That's federal. Federal jurisdiction. And that's their state, the District of Illinois. Black people and Moors know what they're doing? They're residing. And foreign states. Those are not your states. You're just residing there. So the 14th Amendment say you are a citizen of the United States and the state in which you reside. So black people and African American people and Moors that have not taken up oh. oath of allegiance to their state are residing in foreign states. That's why they keep getting their head cracked. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So now we have another state. And this state was just created in 2000. 
and 14. And it is called the promise of Illinois. Okay. If you are more, you reside in the province of Illinois. This is a totally different jurisdiction. Totally different. That means the district can't say nothing to you in the province, being a citizen of the province of Illinois. What about the state? No. The state cannot say nothing to you because you are a citizen of the province of Illinois. Yeah, you, different jurisdiction. You would, would, right, so you would uh, okay. a different government. Right. Different government. What's the name of the government? U.S.A.R. United States of America Republic. Okay. So, the state of Illinois is a corporation that the actual first class citizens of Illinois State created to act in commerce on their behalf. That's what that is. The District of Illinois is a corporation that the subject citizens, the foreign, which is called the foreign state citizens in the Constitution, mm -hmm. the foreign state citizens and or subjects fall under the District of Illinois. Now we being Moors, you live in the province now. So if you live in Texas, you live in the province of Texas. If you live in California, the province of California. This is a totally different jurisdiction than the District of Illinois or the state of Illinois or California or wherever you're at. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You can't just pop up and start living in the province of Illinois in these provinces without doing what? Taking your oath. You got to take an oath. By you taking that oath, in law they got a saying. It says, is this a legal message? It say the expression of one thing is the exclusion of another. If you are a state citizen of the province of Illinois, how can